Can you share a story about a time you had to pivot your social media strategy for a client due to an unforeseen challenge? And how did you turn it into a success? The one that's coming up for me was in the early, early days of VP, uh, starting up a new marketing agency, getting clients and whatnot. I think I would say I, I towed the line in terms of using copyright, in terms of using copyrighted music, uh, primarily just to build awareness. And I, as far as I understood with, at the time with, with copywriting is that as long as you're not trying to sell anything, you know, you're good. And then for shits and giggles, I threw a call to action there. Uh, I know I'm I, I'm in the wrong in terms of the copyright, but this is me trying to like push the envelope a little bit in the earlier days. So we ran the ad, the ad went viral. There was like a million-ish views probably within the first 24 hours. A lot of people wanting to do pre-sales and all this stuff and all from something that I just wanted to do as an experiment. Uh, it got so much attention that the artist of the song, their manager, reached out to our client asking, well, threatening a cease and desist. And then from there, the client reaches out to me asking what the heck's going on. And then they started like yelling at me for this whole thing about copyright. And I was like, fuck, I, I, I fucked around and found out. And that's essentially what happened. And all of this was happening while well, right when I was about to go on stage. And then right after that, uh, right after I finished performing, went to the green room, uh, fixed the ad, had to take it down. Like uh, Max assisted me in getting all the screenshots we needed just to like, just for proof of concept, just for like our own documentation purposes, uh, nothing really uh, other than that. Uh, and then we turned off the campaign, and even deleted it uh, because again, we were in the early days, we were a little spooked from that. So uh, yeah, so what we did and how we shifted same content and video added uh, friends music instead that al allowed us to use their song for the promotion uh, still not as viral as it was uh, initially but i still got them a lot of pre-sales a lot of likes and followers on, in on instagram and facebook and a lot of signups on their email list so looking back at it the question for some might be would the campaign have been successful if i had started off with non-copyrighted music to begin with Yes, it was simply because the product and the thing that they were serving didn't exist yet. And it was solving a very, 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 very big problem that their particular audience wanted solved. But yeah, that's it. Try not to drop names too much. It was kind of a dumb move on my end, which is kind of my MO uh, half the time, which, which is fuck around and find out. But thankfully, not in a bad way. Okay, this is like heartwarming sharing. And this goes for a client who want to like a great social media presence across Instagram and Facebook, but who doesn't have great pictures and they didn't want to pay someone to film the product and the product is food. So I was telling him I could, or I was telling the person I could hook them up with a, with a food photographer, but they wanted to do it yourself. They didn't want any editing. They want like raw pictures, but the pictures were really crazy. And so I had to like re-strategize. I couldn't like the calendar or the things that I wanted to post. You could not like put everything in there. So you have to think a lot about like shifting or making your copy suited for the pictures that are workable and that they approve which was crazy but this was like a client from zero and everything has really has increased until i said it's too stressful and i said goodbye <laughs>